Hey Glowies, welcome or welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new and be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already to become part of the Glow Gang. So today I have a very interesting video for you guys and we all know the app TikTok. If you don't... Okay. <laughs> we all know the app TikTok though, most of us do. And I wanted to make a video on the Roblox TikTok hacks that somehow came on my For You page. So the first hack that I have for you guys is this funny little prank that you can play on your friends and basically you're going to want to go into adopt me and then in adopt me when people join the game or something happens there's always server messages so you can basically make a fake server message so you're going to just want to go onto the top and I'll be demonstrating this but basically all you need to do is just spam literally anything and then once you think that it's gotten to a certain point you're going to make a fake server message and then as you can see right now it's about to show up it's gonna pop up in chat and then your message will be above the server message so it's two lines in your own message but it'll look like a server message now that was kind of confusing i know but if you look in chat right now you can see what i mean by it so i think this one is really fun if you have friends who are obsessed with that one youtuber or your server is obsessed with youtubers i think it's a really fun prank to play on them so be sure to have fun with this one i really like this one Okay, so this next one is one of the most interesting things I have seen on Roblox in a while. And that is that you can get free Robux legitimately without hacking anything, without going against Roblox terms of service, without trusting bots, without going to external websites, without losing your account, all the fun stuff. So what you're gonna wanna do is claim empty groups. So there's two ways to do this and I'll be explaining what that means. So if there are groups without any owners that you can claim sometimes they have robux group funds in them so the first way of doing this is using this game called empty group finder and basically you just click the find button that shows up when you first like open the game and you can customize it in settings so you can go to settings and look up tags of like the specific groups you want so some good things to try out are clothing group <laughs> career group cafe something like that because those usually have a lot of group funds you can also try game shows since those tend to have quite a bit and basically what it'll do is find empty or closed groups for you now a closed group means that you can't claim ownership of it but an empty group means that you can and you can do this by just going to the group page and then there's always going to be three dots in the top right corner where you could have reported abuse if it's a closed group or you could claim ownership if it's an empty group without any owner so after you find a group on the main thing, you're going to go to saved IDs and the ID will be right there. And then you go to any group page. This is my group page. My group is down below in the description if you want to join. We have lots of fun events and stuff. But basically you're going to go to the URL and you're just going to put in these seven digits there. And it will take you to the group that you found. And again, this one is kind of a process because there's going to be a lot of closed groups. There might be a lot of claimed ones already but it's definitely worth it because it's literally free robux once you finally find a group with group funds in it the most i saw someone get on tiktok was like twenty thousand from a clothing group that they found twenty thousand robux in group funds for just spending like a little time on this so definitely worth it and the second way that you can do this is just by going into like any group url and then putting any random digits now that one might take a little more time because like it's not the group finder. The group finder finds you empty groups no matter what, and that one might find you literally any group ever, including ones that already have owners. But that one is also good because people might have claimed a lot from the game group finder, so it's up to you, but it's definitely worth it for the time that it takes. So the next one that you can do on Roblox is actually see people's old outfits, and you're going to want to go to this game called Outfit Renderer. You can just look up old outfit in games as well. And basically you're going to be able to see like anyone's outfits on their avatar, their avatar evolution, etc. So on the left hand side there's going to be a place where you can enter the username of whoever you want to see. So this person has like 30 outfits named the same thing. I thought that was really funny. And then like their usernames or the names for the outfits are also really interesting to look at. So if you're really bored, you want to expose your friend for fun. You want to bring your friends here and expose someone else like not actually expose but you get the point definitely try this out so i tried mr flimflam's username and scooby can only feel pain minion man the girl the guys like cletus mencraft legs 
cool eyes. Okay, now I'm just reading out his names, but so a really nice tool to have if you're really bored in Roblox and want to do some exposing or just have a laugh. Go ahead and try this game out. The next um, hack that I have for you guys is that you can actually see the last time a Roblox user was online. So a lot of people do this for Roblox myths, hackers, or friends that they've lost contact with. All you do is enter the game and that is on screen right now and you can literally look up just last online games and it will come up. And then you chat the username of the person you want to see and you click the red button and it will come up. and. You can transfer the time zones because time zones obviously it's a different time for everyone so you can just look at your time zone on the side and then convert it because the time zone or username thing isn't cst i'm an est which is one hour ahead of cst so just convert it and that's how you find out when someone was last online so the next one is something that you can use to just check your robux gift card balance and this is like another way of getting free robux in some way shape or form so if you're someone who has ever bought robux like ever and you've never like earned it then this one will be a big help to you because for some reason not that many people do this and this is just a reminder to start doing this if you haven't already so when you use money on a gift card for robux there might be some left over for most people it's like a few dollars or a few cents but it can be converted into robux and all you do is go to this support page on roblox and it will show you how to convert it into robux so just check your gift card balance if you have ever bought any Robux and see if you can convert anything back into Robux from the real life money that you have left on it. And the last thing I have to show you guys today is how to get an aesthetic theme for your profile. Now this one a lot of people asked me specifically and personally, this isn't something I found on TikTok, but it's a Roblox hack so I figured why not show you guys and that is basically you can Put an aesthetic theme on your profile by going to aesthetic themes and searching it up in groups and basically what it will do is show all these users who have favorite games on their profile that have thumbnails on them that can be favorited in a row to look like a theme so all you do is just go to their profile go to their favorite games the person that i use is on my screen right now and you just go to their favorite games and a favorite like a row of games and you will have it on your profile so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps some of you out and I do have a lot more videos and ideas to show you guys so be sure to subscribe and like for a part 2 once we get to a certain amount of subscribers and likes I will show you guys part 2 and I hope you guys enjoy this video.